Robinhood has introduced an enticing offer, providing a 1% match on contributions to their IRA for free. In addition to this, Robinhood increased their IRA match for gold members to 3%. Robinhood's IRA match does not count towards your annual IRA contribution limit. When you think about it, this is actually very comparable to employer contributions to a 401k. This offering is unheard of for IRAs. This sets Robinhood apart from other IRA providers. Robinhood also offers a welcome bonus. When you sign up to Robinhood using someone's referral link, and you link your bank account, you'll get anywhere from $5 to $200 worth of fractional shares from America's leading companies. My referral link will be down below. So is Robinhood Gold worth it? Gold costs $5 per month or $60 per year. If you're new to gold, the first month is free. So the actual cost of the first year is $55. If you max out your IRA contribution at $6,500, you'll receive $195 from Robinhood as a match in 2023. $130 of this is from the additional 2% match. Subtract the $55 fee and you're still ahead by $75. Or $70 if you paid for the first month. Plus with gold, you earn 4.5% interest on uninvested brokerage cash, instant deposits up to $50,000, access to Morningstar research, and NASDAQ's level 2 market data. For the most part, I never really considered the other benefits of Robinhood Gold to actually be worth the price. Although since they added in the additional 2% IRA match, it makes it a tempting offer. Overall, I think gold can be worth it, if you max out your IRA contributions because the contributions alone will put you ahead by $75 for the first year if you are new to gold, or $70 if you are not new to gold. Although if you are not willing or able to max out your IRA contributions for the year, then in my opinion gold is not worth it, which there are some drawbacks. You need to maintain your gold subscription for at least one year, from the date of your first 3% match in order to keep the additional 2%. Also, there's a five-year holding period. You must hold your IRA contributions with Robinhood for at least five years in order to keep your IRA match. Robinhood's IRA has received a lot of hate. A lot of the hate usually revolves around the five-year holding period. In my opinion, the waiting period is not that bad, considering that you already have to wait five years in order to withdraw contributions from a Roth IRA tax and penalty free. And you also have to wait five years when doing a Roth conversion ladder. Content creators who are usually against Robinhood's IRA are usually index fund investors. They are all about investing for the long term. Investing for decades. Which is great and everything, I actually agree with it. But they will praise a 1% match from an employer, while demonizing Robinhood for their free 1% match. As for me, I have to give Robinhood some credit. Also, as long as you've held your eligible funds for at least 5 years, the IRA match with Robinhood is yours to keep. Since IRAs are for long term investing, oftentimes investing for decades, this isn't a bad deal. That's an additional 1-3% to to your contributions. If you buy a popular index fund like VTI or VOO, they pay dividends. These dividends will auto reinvest. It's tax advantaged growth. And if you withdraw money earlier than 5 years, and your remaining IRA balance stays at or above your contribution amount that earned the IRA match, it's yours to keep. Another con that's commonly mentioned by Robinhood critics is payment for order flow. This is one way that Robinhood makes money. And the argument is that payment for order flow might not provide the best price. The main problem with this is that the difference in price is going to just be fractions of a penny. Also, brokerages like Robinhood are required by regulators to get the best price for their clients. Payment for order flow is a real drawback. If you're doing millions of trades, if you're buying an index fund in Robinhood's IRA every two weeks, especially when factoring in an additional 1-3% to match, it's insignificant. In conclusion, Robinhood does get a ton of hate. Still, if it wasn't for Robinhood, maybe we would still be paying a commission for buying and selling stocks. Robinhood may even end up being the reason why IRA matches become more popular at some point in the future. One of the first steps that is recommended when it comes to maximizing your money when it comes to investing is to max out your 401k match with your employer. The problem with this is that not everyone's employer has a 401k match. The importance of this match is that it's free money. Robinhood is essentially giving people free money. And even if you withdraw the money early, index funds like VTRVOO pay dividends. And that's money being paid to you, reinvested, and earning more dividends. Overall, I think gold is worth it if you are going to max out your contributions to your IRA and you are going to keep those funds in there for the long term.